option to have, especially with the amount of edge guarding that's done in this game. Um, and I, I mean, I, Onnit boys in general are look, both looking pretty solid. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's just crazy this game, man. The balancing that was done by those players, man, uh, they did a great job with it. And uh, like Little Mac, everybody's like, "Oh, Little Mac's terrible." Dude, I was watching Joe Cool do some crazy things with that character. Yeah, yeah he w he was doing some crazy stuff. I I, I feel like it's we can kind of determine some of the characters that are good. I don't I don't know if it's uh, late enough to say. Oh no, not at all. Like definitively bad yet. Not at all. It's gonna take a few months. But anyway, getting into this set, it looks like they're just replaying game one. Um, so we got BBDB on the Lucas, JJ on the Link, I believe. Yep. Oh. The boomerang helping him out. Wow, sniping him with that. Now, the controlled bombs, for those of you that aren't familiar with Ultimate yet, uh, Link actually has remote bombs in this game uh, and no tether grab anymore. So his grab is. Oh no. Edge guard's an opportunity? Not quite. Uh, but the bombs actually blow up on command. It's kind of like um, it's kind of like a snake C4 if you're familiar really with all. Yeah, yeah. So definitely seeing some pretty cool stuff in this character. Wait, can he reflect? It? I don't know. No, sure. I think he can absorb the actual explosion. explosion. I don't want to okay, say okay. for sure, but if he can, uh, he probably can like only ex like absorb the actual explosion, not the bomb just Makes hitting sense. him. I really like this bomb play. Yeah, Jay definitely using it to set up a ledge trap and the up air taking that stock. Yeah, excellent stuff. Man, Link's moving in this game, man. Uh oh. <laughs> now, this is where I think Lucas is going to struggle. Uh, if you get kept out by another zoner, uh, still doesn't really have the quite doesn't quite have that speed that he that you know he requires to deal with his zoner. And Link probably being the superior zoner right now, um, definitely making it hard for. Oh wow, yeah. the snipe definitely going to take him off stage there. That that whole like last 20, 30 seconds. Uh, was played excellently by BBDB. Point back air, F tilt. Bomb setups. Interested that we're not seeing a we're not seeing a ton, a ton of um, uh, Zero Lucas right now. I, I don't know if that's necessarily like, one of his better options anymore. But wow, is falling is that falling there into down smash? Looking really really true. Oh, just barely, but it's just enough for JJJ to uh, manage to get that uh, that forward smash. Did it grab down smash to take that off the top? Wow, dude! That, I gotta be honest, man. That down smash looks good. <laughs> yeah, a lot better than it did in Smash Four. Yeah, I mean, Smash Ultimate doing some things, man. It's a game where even Link can be good. <laughs> <laughs> I know Link mains rejoice in that. There's so many Link mains that I always think he's bad. And in this game, he's definitely looking good so far. So cool. Okay. Bring fair, fair pressure. Look at the back, they're looking for the PK freeze. There it is. Is that going to kill? Yeah. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. No questions asked. <laughs> that move is crazy. I love it. It looks so funny every single time. Just straight up ice block off the side. <laughs> there and up till. We still got Smash 4 combos. Alright, JJJ. Really taking advantage of this boomerang. Uh oh. Alright, good air dodge. I like that. Scary situation though for Jay, knowing that although although Smash Ultimate does make your uh does make characters uh recoveries nerf, or I mean they're nerfed for the most part. Uh BDB the B B D B definitely knows you still have to get the edge guard. Oh, the bomb gonna take Hit him that. Right off the tether, yeah. Wow. You really got to be careful about like those big active hitboxes when you're tethering the ledge. Because uh, once you like, once you activate that tether, you're very vulnerable at some points. Very smart. That almost looked like almost, uh, very Diddy-like, how uh, Diddy would shoot those peanuts, except now it's yeah. a big old explosion. Yeah, so can't except, argue with yeah that. now it kills. <laughs> so. Yeah, look at this placement. Very smart. Yeah, and I think he took advantage. Like He got that grab because he took advantage of the fact that BBDB was either going to try to like throw out the magnet again and try to absorb the explosion or most likely shield um, being afraid of, you know, the bomb was right next to him, so he was no scared. Doubt. And so he ran in, got that grab, uh, knowing that grab was probably going to be whatever came out, and then capitalized excellently. The bomb was right there. He set it up so early. Game two going to Nova Pokemon League. Unova. 
Uno. <laughs> Uno. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce it. I gotta be honest, I haven't played Pokemon in a while. So it's like uh, Unova's based on the United States. Oh, I see. So okay. it's okay. United States of. Uh, like Uno wow, Uno. dude. <laughs> Throwing yeah. the knowledge. I had no idea. <laughs> That's actually pretty clever. Yeah. I like that. So far, uh, B B BZB. Man, I'm gonna have trouble saying that the whole time. Uh, lose it. <laughs> Both their names, I'm sorry. JJJ and BBBDB. Uh, lots of lots of good beats there. Uh, Jay off to a good start here, putting up a quick 100%. Wow, reflecting the uh, boomerang. Nice, good chase down. Nair, uh, weak hit Nair into tech chase, very smart. And Jay's just going to elect to probably use these platforms to cover himself. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to be keeping Lucas out, keeping that lead. Play, yeah. He's been playing very smart so far. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah, he's, he's been content playing the zoning game, just slowly inching his way closer and closer to center stage and then, like, the corner uh, where he can keep BBDB. No doubt. And I really, I honestly, like, if I'm being completely honest, uh, zoners in this game, if you play them correctly, very hard to get in, to get in on. Oh, yeah. Uh, the power shielding mechanic. Oh, there it is again. Just as he let go of that PSI magnet, too. But uh, for those of you also not familiar with Ultimate that well yet, uh, parrying is now a mechanic in this game. There is no more ult uh, perfect shield. Uh, it's making zoners a little harder to deal with, of course, uh, without the perfect shield. However, parrying a very strong mechanic if done correctly. Oh, yeah. On the flip side, the uh, fast characters are really fast now. Oh, they're absurdly fast, so yeah. Once they get in, they, <laughs> they kind of stay in. So it, it's an interesting dynamic. I really it like it. I like it because it promotes the offensive play. You got good, sh uh, good shield pressure. You can't just sit back and reflect everything. You really need to get down. Yeah. You get Reese coming through. Oh. Wow, good read on the roll up smash. Nope. Speaking of parries, not able to get anything off of that, though. Yeah, see, he, he's like scared. Every time the bomb comes up, he doesn't want to get hit by the explosion. He doesn't want to move, yeah. Yeah. It's keeping him in shield. Up throw not going to quite do it. It's such a scary situation to have that bomb Back right throw? there. Nope, not. Oh, good catch. Not quite enough, though. All right, there Second you go. Second going to take it, though. No oh, no, the oh. wall took his PK Thunder. I know the walls on this stage are like supposed to be Dude, a bit wonky. They're awful. Yeah. I don't like them. <laughs> Everything else about the stage is so great, but those walls are just like a little weird. Definitely. Definitely uh, really well played by Jay there. Uh, 